All right, we're gonna begin. So this is gonna be a close castration. So I'm not actually gonna enter his abdomen at all. And the first thing we're gonna do is make one slit on each side of the testes. So I'll start with the right testicle first. I'll go ahead and make a little slit. I'm gonna push his testicle right on out, like so. All right, that one's coming out. Now I'm gonna place traction on that testicle. I'm gonna start breaking down all of the connective tissue around that. And it's just gonna pop out like so. And there we go. And now I'm gonna make a simple tie around this testicle because there's actually blood flowing through here. You know, there's artery veins. And so we have to tie that off. So I'm gonna make a little loop. I'm gonna come around and grab it like this. And now that's clamped off. And now I'm gonna take my scalpel blade and cut off the testicle. And you'll see here, the most important part is you don't wanna cut off this little ring of tissue right here because that is gonna mess up the whole procedure. We're just gonna cut off that testicle. So, cut that off. Now the testicle is off, so I'm gonna drop that. And now what we're gonna do is take a piece of gauze and slide that tissue over the hemostat, like so. And essentially that is gonna form the little knot. Now we're just gonna tighten that knot, you can see here, that little knot right there. So we're gonna tighten that knot down. Get it really tight. And then, not the nice cotton, it's good to go. So we're gonna drop that back in the testicle, let it fall naturally into place, no bleeding, and that's pretty much it for the testicle. And now we got one more to do, so I'll make the second incision on his left testicle. And these incision sites are just gonna close by second intention, heal by second intention, so no sutures are needed to close those up. And that's the end of the procedure. That's how you do it.